Hello everyone, Sonley here and welcome back to another episode of Truly Bedrock Season 1. I hope you're all doing fantastic today. I am doing very well myself and we got some plans for today's episode of Truly Bedrock. We are going to be doing a lot of smelting for some storage XP banks. So this is something that we've never done a Bedrock Edition, haven't done it like literally at all because of many bugs. But those bugs have since been fixed and we're going to set up a very large XP furnace bank over here. As you might be aware, we already have a couple of huge bamboo farms which are producing many, many bamboos. We got the full stack smelting array, 64 furnaces burning through tons and tons of things looking fantastic. But at the end of that, we have four little teeny tiny storage banks for experience. Now, these things haven't really ran at all. They've smelted like a couple tiny items, but we want these running for the entirety of today's episode so that hopefully we can have XP on demand and it should be pretty fun. So, of course, you can't just have four measly furnaces for an XP bank. No, 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 no. We want to have probably like a whole lot more. So I grabbed eight more furnaces that'll give us 12 things that are constantly smelting down to give us experience. So let me go ahead and build these things up. I'm going to build them in the same kind of way that we have these ones. So just a furnace and with a hop underneath it to get rid of these smelted items. Chest going into the backside of it for smelted items that comes from the water stream or sorry, the chest behind it's for fuel, and then the chest on top of it is actually for the items that we want to smelt. So, very simple system, basically as simple as I can really think about it. A little bit expensive because of how we need to set it up, but overall it should work perfectly. And we are already out of hoppers. I've only built uh, not even one yet. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually down to about 13 iron blocks, plus this little bit that I'm going to turn into hoppers, so uh, I really cannot wait to get some better iron farms in 1.16. Seriously, can I just rant about new iron farms for a second? Bedrock Edition has never had actually good iron farms. 1.16 is going to completely revolutionize the game, just by the simple fact that, like, we'll actually have iron to use for once. It's, it's actually going to be amazing. Imagine decorating with iron blocks. It's not going to be a mega flex anymore. It's just going to be like a thing that you can do. Okay, so we have just barely enough iron for now and it should be fine. I'm just installing a couple of optional safety levers on the back of this thing. And a little fun tip for you, sea lanterns can actually conduct redstone power. As you can see, this hopper is now locked from that lever. However, it's actually still a transparent block so you can open chests through it. And uh, I believe it allows beacon beams and all that stuff to happen. So it's a rather fascinating block. May or may not be a bug. I don't know, but it's actually rather convenient for a lot of different things. Um, hmm, we have a lot of sugar cane. I just now noticed this. <laughs> How long has this been here? Has this been here the entire time? Since when? I literally have not noticed it. No one else is going to be like over here. Okay, this has to be from Zloy. Why is there so much sugar cane? <laughs> this is so random. Uh, I don't Oh, it stopped my vines from growing. Oh, jeez, come on now. I need the vines. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, I don't know what to do with this, but I guess thanks, mystery person. It's It's got to be from Zloy, right? Who else would do this? I don't know how I got in this situation. I was just swimming peacefully, and now I'm, like, stuck right here. Oh, I can actually go back inside the blocks. That's not really that much better, to be fair. <laughs> I can't swim. I don't really want to, like, oh, jeez, I can't. Um, okay, I'm, I'm actually properly stuck here. I guess I gotta break that, don't I? Yes, I do. Okay, and there we go. We have a solid 12 of these XP furnace banks in commission now. It is looking pretty good. I just need to switch out these front andesite blocks for like some sea lanterns. Also, now it's time to crunch a couple numbers and explain how exactly we're going to get levels from this. So, in order to get to level 30 in Minecraft, you need exactly 1,395 experience points. Which, honestly, isn't that bad, right? That's actually a pretty reasonable number. Not too shabby. Shouldn't be too hard to get from smelting, right? Right? <laughs> anyway, since we're doing this with netherrack, it's simply because I have so much netherrack. Like 16 shulker boxes of this terrible, terrible stuff. Uh, netherrack it gives you a total of 0.1 experience every time you smelt it. So an absolute minuscule amount. 
that means that you need 10 netherrack to uh, get a single bit of experience. So that means that we need to smelt a total of 13,950 netherrack in order to get to level 30 in Minecraft, which is where the problem lies. Now, that means that we need to smelt an entire four double chests of netherrack before we get to level 30, and then it's still going to be a little bit short. So I have pretty much four double chests ready to go right here. I can grab a lot more netherrack from the base, and then we'll have these four guys burning down this entire episode hopefully by the end of the episode they'll all be burned down and we can go through here and collect our 30 levels that is going to be our test run for this but silent why do you have so much netherrack well i have a confession to make sadly i am a hoarder in minecraft i keep every single item even if it's completely useless and that explains why i have so much netherrack also i cleaned up the entire nether hub went around and collected all the random chests and uh yeah that's not helping my netherrack problem as you can see oh my god don't tell me okay good those ones are empty too <laughs> uh so yeah i'm gonna collect all of this netherrack and throw it into the smelter and then there's still like so much more at the base it's literally not funny and this is the only solution that i have to this problem so after just a couple of minutes of looking around in the storage system and in the nether hub we have seven entire shulker boxes of netherrack ready to go to be smelted and let's see how many does it take four double chests so this is basically like 25 ish levels of experience right here <laughs> okay i know it's getting old at this point but it's ready it's loaded and it is good to go we got all four of these ready that'll be 30 levels approximately in experience once it's smelted now we have one problem we don't have any fuel for it <laughs> however i think i know where we can get some fuel let's take a little field trip for just a second and you'll see that Zloy has found his prank in the last episode we planted about 7,000 bamboo at his base he has since seen that prank and actually he tore all of it down it only took about an hour and a half to clear out all the bamboo which is approximately the same amount of time it took me to actually plant it so that worked out pretty well actually and the beautiful part about that is that he got 17 Yes, 17 double chests of bamboo from it. So, uh, yeah, he's actually richer in bamboo than I am, and I am the bamboo baron. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. He's already put a ton of it to use. So, yeah, we'll, we'll talk to him. I'll probably end up buying it from him. <laughs> By the way, you should definitely go watch his episode to see his reaction. Link is in the iCards. It was beautiful. Definitely worth checking out. Hello, Zloy. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> How do you think it's going? How long... <laughs> I come in into, into my base. Everything is sugar. Uh, not sugar cane. Bamboo. Yeah. It looks like you got it cleaned up really nice. Did you find all the hidden bamboo? Uh, what do you mean all the hidden? Well, you know how you mean this... behind the house and uh, under the under the thing and everywhere else. You know how this hill is fake and there's nothing under it. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I was nice enough yeah, to not put it under it. What? Yeah, <laughs> I was what? nice you enough to. Put... Me. <laughs> I was nice enough to not put it down here, but I f I found this after I already built the chicken head, so I was like, ah, oh, it's too late for that. <laughs> I'm over here for a reason. You know the thing about you having a ton of bamboo now? Yeah. I uh, I don't really have any, so <laughs> <laughs> can can I buy some bamboo from you? Yeah. All right, sure. <laughs> it looks like you used a lot of it already. I know you had like 17 double chests I, before. I, I, have, I haven't used a lot of it. Uh, half of, like basically I had not twice, but approximately twice this amount. It's just, I fed the rest into my, you know, smelter. So I'm thinking one, I, why di one diamond block per double chest. Uh... A little bit pricey, but I feel there's like some moral payment <laughs> that needs to be done with this. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I can make that work. Here's ten diamond blocks. Enjoy. <laughs> Yay! And look, look, I'm so nice. I'm so nice that I'm gonna even help you move it to to your place a little. Oh, you're just gonna where, you're just where? gonna push it over there. We can we can make a flying machine for it. <laughs> 
Okay, great. Yeah, no, you just move it over there, and uh, I'll just I'll just put away these shulker boxes because clearly. Yeah, see you yeah. there in uh, in five hours to five days. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> There's no prime delivery with this one. <laughs> okay, so I'm making a flying machine to take these up there, Zoe. Don't you feel it's a little bit excessive? Excessive? <laughs> it bounces me up here. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, we'll okay. Well. Uh, ooh, uh, uh, and uh, there uh, they go. Uh, it's fine. Don't worry about his it. light. It's good. It's, it's good. It's still working. I'm not worried. This is your bamboo we're losing right now. <laughs> if it didn't glitch out, I would have destroyed it in time. Break the blocks. Oh, I broke an entire chest. How did that happen? <laughs> That's half a diamond block over, over there. I'm not picking it up. <laughs> I just punched it. It got broken by me punching it. <laughs> Okay, Zloy, this thing's ready to go. I've, I've, sure, sure looks that way. Uh, I've done the calculations. <laughs> the rocket science has been done. I'm I'm a supremely intelligent person, and we got this. We even got a boat up here. Come on, you're coming along for the ride too. I I wanna I wanna look at watch it take off. I'll I'll catch up. Don't worry. Uh, uh sure. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason why I trust this is because I built it. <laughs> Woo! And it actually d did take off. Without me. <laughs> wow. What a beaut. Look at her go. Your idea of honey blocks did not work. Look, I have I have no idea what honey blocks do or why they exist by now. <laughs> Neither do I. They're just yellow slime. I was under the impression that they pulled the entities with them, but apparently not, so... You can just jump on it, it'll be fine. Oh, hey, yeah, you can just... No, you can just stay on the honey blocks. You look like Apparently you're very doesn't, much... Apparently this only ever doesn't work <laughs> when you are in a boat. You are very much falling off. <laughs> How dare you on my screen? I am gracefully, you know, moving along. Yeah, on my screen you were very much falling off. <laughs> you well, still on are. on my screen you look like an idiot jumping over it. <laughs> Trust okay. me, you look like more of an idiot on my screen, okay? <laughs> look, look, what matters is that we figured this out and we're very efficiently moving this thing along. Uh, Only gotta do it another four times. <laughs> oh god, you're right. <laughs> How are you not dying of fall damage? <laughs> I'm not taking any for the last time. Oh, that, there's a heal on our, on our trajectory. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh no! We're gonna crash into it! Very in like slowly. an hour! Yeah. <laughs> uh, you realize this thing can't turn, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is like one way one, so it doesn't even... Yeah, it doesn't even go backwards. There's <laughs> no brakes on this thing. I guess um, we're, we have no choice but to face the inevitable. Well, Zloy, it was good knowing you, man. Uh, it's been some good times <laughs> on Truly Bedrock. Decidedly vanilla. <laughs> Valhalsia, but our time is coming to an end. <laughs> oh, you finally fell off. I knew it was gonna happen. What? You gotta go down with the ship. Oh, so you just abandoned ship? How dare you? <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not the captain. I have every right to do so. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Literally every single shocker I had is full bamboo now. Lovely. <laughs> 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 was that not what you were trying to accomplish? It is, yes. So, there's a sign in here, you say? Yeah. Look, here, I'm standing right on top of it. Oh, hi. Uh, sure. That is that is literally exactly what I expected your response to be for the for the building of the thingy. <laughs> yeah, you wanted me to for some kind of buildy job, and uh, I'm guessing this is the situation for it. Yes, uh, I was going to build, like, a brick and factory around this thing because as you can see it don't look very nice i like I, I like the way you phrase it i was gonna build no don't let's not you're gonna dump this project onto me no i was gonna build it with you i already did that with the mansion yeah, yeah. and the snowy biome i want to build it with you it's gonna be fun so what is the plan exactly uh hide it <laughs> <laughs> Fair. S simple Fair enough. enough, right? Simple enough. I can, I can, I can respect that. Yeah. So the actual ba bamboo farm is that's gonna be like a sixty-ish by sixty-ish area, and then mm -hmm. you got this awkward little uh, thing that I'm now stuck in over here for the rest of it for the smelters. So I'm thinking maybe one big building uh, for the two bamboo farms, and then like a smaller building off the side to hide the smelters and whatnot. Yeah. See. I was thinking big building for to hide all of it in okay. one go, but we split it into a facility. Check this out. I'm going to do a KL model. So this is the smelter, right? Okay. Maybe even this. And these are the bamboo farms, right? Yep, I got you. I got you. And uh, brace yourself because this is not going to be pretty at all. You already <laughs> wanted this uh, red, red brick palette. So I'm guessing we will put it around the main facility, which will be the smelter. Mm -hmm. And then the shuriken we hide in a sideways facing facility. Is that is that concrete? Yeah, that's brown concrete. No! <laughs> <laughs> what? What's the problem? That's the one thing I didn't want to build with. <laughs> Look how rusty and cool it's looking. Yeah. Trust me. I, ha I had an entire base at one point on one of the servers I played on. It, 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 it was looking pretty cool. It was. It didn't even have the red brick segment, but it still looked amazing. Okay, just fair enough. with the brown concrete. So it's fine. We'll just stab some cocoa beans. It's, it's going to be all right. Yeah, we'll just stab an entire get... desert and the ocean and some cocos. It'll be fine. We'll figure it We've out. We've been doing that for the whole season. It's not exactly a problem. Also, Liara just logged on. We can just dump this problem onto her. That's true. Okay, Silent. So we'll need stone for this project, but I only have cobble. Do you know any places I can maybe convert it into one? Oh, you want to convert cobblestone into normal stone? Yeah. I, I don't know if there's like an opportunity somehow. Dude, this is this not game. modded. This is not modded. What are you thinking? Well, oh well. I guess I'll have to go and, you know, silk touch. If only we had some place where we could smelt it. Oh dear, yeah, I, I hear it. Yes. I hear it silent. I, I can't hear anything else in my entire life. Embrace the clicks, Zloy. Embrace the clicks. Okay, so Zloy has actually helped us out a ton thus far in the episode. It sold us, you know, like, whatever, 10 double chests full of bamboo. We still have so much more of that. It's ridiculous. Now, he's also like helped us up with the uh, the building of this thing. As you can see, we got the foundations partially installed for our bamboo factory. It's going all the way around the edges, including this little thing right here. And we also got like our build palette put together, the little like it's scale model of the building. <laughs> I'm actually really looking forward to it. Uh, I don't know how much of that will get done in today's episode, but there are a couple more things that we can do technical wise having to do with these bamboo farms first of all the xp banks these things we need to talk about uh these things are not smelting down very quickly i may have overestimated or underestimated the speed at which these things smelt as you can see it's going at the very leisurely pace of super slow and it's uh it's not even smelted down a sixth of what it needs I've been over here for a couple of hours. I don't know how it's going that slow. Maybe it's server lag, 
but it's bad. So what we need to do is we need to distribute all of this netherrack across all of the other XP banks, and we're gonna get all of these guys smelting down. Okay, so all the netherrack has been distributed, and now for the really fun part, we get to unlock all of the hoppers and throw in many, many shocker boxes of bamboo. Never have I ever seen something so beautiful as that. <laughs> Uh, it is ridiculously stupid, but I love it so much. It's a it's a creation of my own design <laughs> This is my brain on minecraft guys <laughs> One thing I kind of realized about bamboo is that it actually requires a light level of 10 to actually grow so as I've been afking over here for hours upon hours upon hours and it's nighttime, literally none of this bamboo is growing at all, which is a total oversight on my part, and really quite very stupid. Also, as you've seen, hostile mobs have actually been spawning inside of these things, which is not good at all. We do not want that. If those guys will die from suffocation from the flying machines eventually, and then their items will drop and they'll go into the super smelter and break it. So we need to install some lights in here that'll significantly help the efficiency of our farm. So as a temporary small fix, I put a bunch of glowstone in each side of the bamboo farm. We definitely need a lot more lighting, but we can install that once the actual building has been constructed around this. That'll make it look a whole lot nicer nicer and hide all of those lighting blocks and there's probably never going to be like a proper full fix for it but it should still be pretty good either way so now we have a new issue and a new problem to deal with and that is mission critical low supply of bamboo you know all those shocker boxes of bamboo we had yeah i've used pretty much all of them at this point <laughs> this is all the bamboo that we have left over that we bought from zloy and all the other shulker boxes have been completely emptied might not sound like that big of a deal just you know oh look at the storage system we we have a bunch but no it's all been taken out it's all been put into these chests and pretty much all of our xp banks are running out of fuel if they run out of fuel then we are not going to be smelting anything and not going to be getting any experience so we have two more shulker boxes and i'm thinking we're going to craft all of this bamboo into a scaffolding a scaffolding actually burns a lot more items than a bamboo itself does so lucky for us i actually have a bunch of bamboo at the base and not entirely sure where i got all of this it's probably been sitting in there for ages and ages and i also have five stacks of string and that'll give us like well, each one of this gives us six stacks of scaffolding. So six, 12, 24, that'll give us 30 stacks of scaffolding. <laughs> and if we put one scaffolding in there, that's gonna smelt down a bunch of items. I forget exactly, but we'll come back to that in a moment and see how many it smelts. And then I also have all of this wool. And don't forget at the very, very beginning of the season, we built a wool farm. So we have two double chests of wool blocks sitting over there that we can burn down as well. Basically, if it burns, I'm putting it into this furnace array and it's it's getting smelted. <laughs> we are that low on bamboo. I might even start burning, like, I might start making charcoal. Literally whatever we gotta do. So yeah, a single scaffolding smelts down six items, which is crazy. I think that's a 24 times increase in the efficiency of burning. It only takes a six bamboo to make a single scaffolding. The crafting is whatever, the string is whatever, not something that we need to worry about so instead of taking four bamboo to smelt down a single item you turn six of these into scaffolding and then every single one of these scaffolding smelts down you know six individual items i think that's a 24 times increase in efficiency oh no it's already happening it's already happening okay so <laughs> We completely ran out of stuff. Don't worry, though. I, I crafted up an entire shulker box plus in the part of an inventory, and uh, we have all the scaffolding now. We're going to throw a stack into each one of these furnaces, and they're going to enjoy it. Or else, some of these are running out right as we speak. This is scary times. I don't know why I'm so invested in this super smelter, but you know what? I just am, okay? Just take the scaffolding. <laughs> 
Okay, so I think our XP storage bank issue is kind of resolved for the moment. I used every single little bit of scaffolding that I had left. However, I think all of these have about three stacks of scaffolding now. Should be enough to smelt all of the items, even if some of these hoppers are filled up, which they absolutely are. Okay, we're going to need more scaffolding later. Never mind. <laughs> uh, but as a side note, I have actually done a lot of resource gathering for this building around here. I scavenged a lot of the swamp that surrounds this area turns out none of it ever had the clay mined out so i smelted down all the clay and uh, now we have many 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 brick materials hey zloy come kill me what thanks after many 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 hours probably like six or seven hours the time has finally come and no this is not what you think it is. We have not run out of fuel. It has finally smelted down all of the things. These ones still got a few random items to smelt. That's not too big of a deal. But these ones have all finished smelting. This has taken an extremely, extremely long time. But I'm very much looking forward to it. Look how many nether bricks we have. That is ridiculous. Anyway, let me smelt one more item so that we have something to take out of these furnaces. Okay, this is finally the moment of truth. We're going to take off all of the armor and we're not making that mistake in today's episode. I bet you some of you thought we would. We're not doing that. From this one, we got seven levels. From that one, another three. From that one, another three. Okay, another three. Not too shabby. We're up to 18. 20. 21, uh, 23, let's see, from that one we're up to 25, okay, we're looking good, we're looking good, 27, and this one we're at 28, oh come on, please, please get us to level 30, this is the original furnace, the original one that's been smelting down for like 7 hours today, and had even more items, please. Yes! Oh my god, we actually got level 30. Oh, I really didn't think we would. Okay, beautiful. God, that's terribly inefficient. I really should have just gone and used the double spawner to get 30 levels, but look at that. We actually did it. <laughs> the amount of nether bricks, the amount of hassle, the amount of scaffolding, the amount of carpet and bamboo we burned, the amount of pollution. <laughs> We melted several ice caps in order to get 30 levels today, but I think that that is an absolute success and I cannot wait to have this burning down all the time and not be actually stressed about having it work for an episode like today. That is crazy. And as a result of all of our smelting, we now have all of these nether bricks. <laughs> I have literally no idea what to do with any of those, not to mention that we already have another four shulker boxes of them sitting over here. This is ridiculous. Anyway, that is going to do it for today's episode of Truly Bedrock. I do hope that you have greatly enjoyed. It's been an episode of ups and downs, not including this in Lytra Flight. And in the next episode, we should see a massive amount of work done on this factory. Zloy is an absolute crazy madman. He's only been over here for like 20 minutes. He's building this entire thing without me. I'm just trying to make an outro and he's doing all the work for me. It's crazy. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching. I do hope that you have enjoyed. If you have, of course, make sure to leave a like on today's video. It certainly helps out the channel and the video significantly. If you are new here and you want to see more videos like this in the future, then make sure to subscribe. And otherwise, I'll see you all down in the comment section and in the next one. And then there was silence.